recorded from you. Amen. Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is June the 21st, 2022. A reading from Psalm 43. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, in what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will continue with the Jubilate. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. We will continue with Psalm 97, our first appointed psalm this morning. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord and the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them up from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up from the right for the righteous and the, uh, joyful gladness for those who are true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 99. The Lord is king, let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. Almighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name, they called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud, they kept his testimonies and the decree he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed, you were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is the Holy One. Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his holy name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the book of Numbers. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from this congregation, so that I may consume them in a moment. They fell on their faces and said, O oh God, the God of all the spirits of all flesh, shall one person sin and you become angry with the whole congregation? And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Say to the congregation, Get away from the dwellings of Korah, Darren, Dathan, and Abiram. So Moses got up and went to Dathan and Abiram. The elders of Israel followed him. He said to the congregation, Turn away from the tents of these wicked men and touch nothing of theirs, or you will be swept away for all their sins. So they got away from the dwellings of Korah, 
Dathan and Abiram. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood at the entrance of their tents together with their wives, their children, and their little ones. And Moses said, this is how you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works. It has been not of my own accord. If these people die a natural death or if a natural fate comes on them, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord creates something new and the ground opens its mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them and they go down alive into Sheol, then you shall know that these men have despised the Lord. As soon as he finished speaking all these words, the ground under them was split apart. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up along with their households, everyone who belonged to Korah and all their goods. So with they, with all that belonged to them, went down alive into Sheol, and the earth closed over them, and they perished from the midst of the assembly. All Israel around them then fled at their outcry, for they said, the earth will swallow us too. And fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men offering the incense. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Benedictus est Domine, a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise, glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths and the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from Matthew. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it will be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, Then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Look, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dignus eis. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is. And by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now pray the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord, make us have perpetual love and reference for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the pure 
sure foundation of your loving kindness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you now to add your own intentions and intercessions uh, verbally or in your heart. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the daily office for morning prayer here at Calvary Episcopal Church in Uptown Wadesboro, North Carolina. This is a joint broadcast of Calvary Episcopal Church in Wadesboro, North Carolina. All Souls Episcopal Church in Ansonville. Church of the Messiah in Rockingham and Christ Episcopal Church in Albemarle, North Carolina. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you.